hello guys basically when we are yeah, seeing some photographs some photographs looks very good while the other photograph doesn't look quite good we don't know what is a problem sometimes you are beginning your photography career now photography of course is art but basically if you look at it carefully then certain elements in the photograph it makes that photograph look good there are certain elements like that and basically you can say that there is some science behind it or some logic behind it so why does some photograph looks better or some doesn't why does it it happens like that so uh, there are various composition elements where concepts of composition one such composition element is balance so let us take an example now this is a simple photograph now compare this photograph with this photograph this is same photograph if i remove this window remove this window and this photograph doesn't look that that beautiful the, the photograph which only has a cycle which doesn't have a window correct now why it is so let us take a second example this is an eiffel tower and moon now if i just remove moon from by using some photo uh, photoshop and this this this, this just the image of uh, of eiffel tower doesn't look good it's like it is falling it's off balance now i'm using the term balance now let us say uh, i will first define what is balance now balance is like uh, if you take a uh, uh, if you take uh, if you take uh, some uh, weight of the photograph it is not like the cycle is being balanced by a, a wall uh, or a window okay if you just take a fulcrum and, and put a photograph in between so it should balance each other now balanced is not just by weight actually it's the weight but it's a compositional weight or in simple terms if we say in any particular photograph let us say there are some distinguished element like in this photograph we have a cycle and a window and there are other things other patterns like patterns uh, in the wall but the main if we see the, at the top one or two elements of the photograph is a cycle and a window now the cycle is positioned in the right side and the window is on the left side so if we, if we notice carefully where the motion of our eyes when we look at this photograph it is just what first it goes into the cycle and window cycle and window and then scans to the back uh, in between it scans to the background a texture so it is balanced the cycle on the right side window on the left side now if i remove a window by using some photoshop now this is the same image but just it has it doesn't have a window now doesn't there uh, in this image when we see our eyes mostly goes into the, the cycle and then there is then it wanders on the wall and then again it comes back to cycle and cycle is positioned on the right side bottom right side now if you see that the, the most of our concentration of or our eye movement is going to that cycle okay so it is on the bottom then what is the rest of the image for so it is that kind of thing so the motion of our eyes should should be balanced in the whole image which should not go to one corner so if, if, again if you take back the uh, take uh, go back to the previous image now this is this looks like balanced it goes to cycle then wall then window and then and then it holds in between uh, between cycle and window so this is called balance balance can be done horizontally as well as vertically in this case this is horizontal balance horizontally as well as vertically so uh, if, if if i pay, uh, place a fulcrum over here so this is what uh, on the top right top left corner and this is on the bottom right corner so it is balanced along the diagonal axis and it is balanced horizontally as well as vertically okay let us take another example now this is a, a photo of a eiffel tower and has a moon now if by photoshop i remove moon then this looks like off balance our eyes go only to the eiffel tower and it, it's on the one corner left side then if this is a composition then what is this the remaining area for now if there is a moon in this image then our, this photograph looks balanced means our eye goes and goes to the left side right side of the image bottom top like that so this we can say that photograph is balanced okay so this eiffel tower is balanced by uh, a moon it, it's not like the right weight of the eiffel tower and weight of the moon the physical weight of the moon and eiffel tower is seen it is not just like that this is balanced by the physical weight of moon and the, 
and I'm going to hit this composition of it. Okay, now let us go backward. Now, this in this image, this is a flower and this is a butterfly. Okay, butterfly is sitting on a flower, and now it is on the left bottom corner. Now, what is the uh, if you see this image, everything on this image apart from this flower and butterfly is blood. Is blood. So, just when we see this, uh, our eye or track or eye movement, it goes to the butterfly and flower and then maybe it drifts back to the blurred background and then again there isn't since there is nothing interesting again it goes back to butterfly and flower now it is located on the bottom left corner now so when we look at this the RI moment it goes to one corner it doesn't go to go to any other place so this image looks like off balance now this I have purposely done this is a photoshopped version the original version of the image is like this oh there are three butterflies now now this image looks like looks balanced and i goes to this flower butterfly then this and this butterfly then again it scatter it yes it goes to the background and again to this butterfly and flower so the location of the, the position of our eyes uh, the movement of our eyes and this image is balanced upside down side left side right side like this is balanced both horizontally and as well as vertically. Suppose this this butterfly, this two butterflies balancing this flower in this butterfly. Okay, so this is a very good composition image compared to this one. Now let us take one more example. Now, see this is uh, a mountain. This is a view taken from a mountain, and this is a rock. Now it doesn't uh, see if, again if you want to see this compositionally how it is balanced or unbalanced just look at our eyes this our eyes generally focuses on this area this mountain this tree and this rock and there is nothing interesting in this area okay so we go our eyes one goes most of the time looks at most of the time this on this rock now this is a very uh, uh, unbalanced uh, image now Suppose this is suppose somehow this is my friend. Suppose if I bring him in this image, now this looks this image looks like it is balanced. This mountain is balanced by this person. Okay, so our eyes goes to this mountain, this person in the background, and it uh, goes from mountain to person and like this. So this image is now compositionally balanced. Let us take a uh, I have taken a video, but it is not possible to show the whole video, so I will take I will take a snapshot to show this thing. So this is one of one uh, one of my friend. Now again, this mount, this mountain, this person, and this whole remaining area. Okay, this this is a void. So our eyes mostly always in this in the left side, mountain and this person. Now this is a clip of that video. Now this person is standing over here, but still this mountain, this person is balancing, but this person is standing right in the middle, almost in the middle. This vacuum is it is it's look like the right side has a vacuum which has which has to be filled. Now if I move this person to left side, or oh, sorry, right side, this image will look like balanced. Now I've just shifted this person from this point to this point. Now this image is looking like it is but it has better balance than the previous image this looks like a good balanced image so this is one of the one of the photo a basic compositional element that is balance which we have to take care this is one of the reason why some photograph looks better some doesn't there are there are more such elements like uh, in the photography for uh, with respect to composition it makes photo look beautiful so those things those topics i will cover in a later video but this is also one of the important thing in photography composition. Photographic composition. So, if you like my video, please subscribe it. Please subscribe to my channel. Like, uh, like it. Share it. If you are a photographer, you may appreciate this thing. Or if you are a normal person who is interested in photographer, this video is for you basically. Okay, thank you. And please comment if you want to see much more videos or much more examples like this or some other thing. Some of the new uh, compositional uh, elements which I will be covering in the next.
next video but your comments likes shares will keep me motivated for posting such new videos thank you for watching this video